Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys? Hi, Hi. Hi Rene, what's up? How are you today? Yeah, I'm okay. Thank you for asking. Doing good? Yeah, I'm doing good. How was your day? Um, I was very busy because mm -hmm. I changed my routine. I'm home office this week. Mm -hmm. I know it's a Monday, but I continue the days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is correct. And do you like home office? And this moment, yes, because I need to take a rest for the last day in the in the mountains in the oh yeah like taking samples and stuff yes mm -hmm. teacher the last week i was in your mosillo i had a congreso minero okay and how was it good use you use in pass i had uh -huh. yeah because I pra I practices my English with another people. <laughs> oh, in this Congress. Uh, yeah, with the CEO and the inversionist. Nice. Yeah. Um. In twenty twenty two, I meet uh, one person. The yeah. name is uh, Winty. Quinty, algo así, un nombre muy raro. <laughs> But right. she come to Hermosillo the last week for the Congress. And okay. she say, Rene, your English is very good. Congrats. You. Thank you. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm, yeah. Because when I meet she, uh, when, my, I met, when I met when, her. When I met, uh -huh, when I met she. My my English was very bad. <laughs> This was when? 2022. Oh, two years. So is the time that you have been English in English classes? Yeah, it's, it's because I I took the decision for learn the English. And, and because of this situation. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Hi Ale, what's up? Hi, teacher. <laughs> I'm driving. You're driving? All right. We're, yeah. we're talking, Rene and I. So you concentrate on the driving. <laughs> okay. All Hi, right. Rene. Hi, Ale. Good afternoon. How are you? Good. Good. Congrats for your results with uh, for your English. Thank you, Ale. I have a, a friend in, in Hermosillo, and he... He went. He he was on the in the same congress. Oh, perfect! Yeah, he sent me a picture with a model of beer, and he said, "On my congreso minero." Yeah, is a is a world's congress. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a big congress, national congress. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, in Hermosillo is the biggest. Is the biggest, yeah. The last year is when Alfredo and and Javier uh, and, and Javier. Javier. <laughs> I I forget yes. the name because Javier <laughs> she does he doesn't hear. <laughs> okay, when Alfredo and Javier was in Cancun, where where yeah where in Cancun yeah. Well, in Acapulco. In Acapulco. Ah, in Acapulco, yeah. In Acapulco. So it's the same Congress, but it's now in Sonora. Congress. Yeah. Oh, so maybe maybe Car maybe Javier and Alfredo went to the Congress. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Javier, yes. Alfredo, I don't know. But he didn't see because I had uh, the other activities during the Congress. Oh, okay. Hi, Carlos. What's up, man? How you doing? Doing good? 
Vale, Carlos, yes. Oh, what's up? Okay. Not much. How are you today? Very good. Doing good. Valerie, hello, Valerie. How are you today? Hi, teacher. I'm good. Thank you. And you? I'm doing good. Long time no see, right? My goodness. Yes, maybe one month. Yeah, since that <laughs> rain. Remember the rain? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that horrible rain. All right. Well, um, I don't know if somebody else is going to connect. We are doing or we are giving a second opportunity to this course, you know, <laughs> because it was complicated to have control of the yes. classes before, right? And um, something that I want to explain a little bit is about that maybe the maybe the material that we were using maybe i want to say that okay i want to i want to give responsibility to to something right and in this case i want to give it to the material maybe the material was not the perfect material for the speaking conversation class you know what i mean uh, and I, it's an idea, right? I don't really know if that was the reason. I want to say, you know, in my defense, because um, I feel it that way. I want to say that conversation clubs are very, very complicated to maintain. You know, conversation clubs are difficult to to control. I would say that's the word, you know? And um, I was talking with some of you guys during the week, and uh, I think that we agree that that we don't give this uh, priority, you know, to the to the course anymore because we speak English already, you know, and we believe that that our English is good, which is good, you know. I'm not saying that your English is bad. No, no, no. Your English is good, and because of that you you start taking other activities you know and the priority for the course is different than the beginning of the course are you following me yes yes sure yes. all right so um i was um i was very not depressed because i was not depressed right but i was very sad <laughs> you know <laughs> i'm not saying i was very very depressed but I was very conflicted in myself, you know, like why again a conversation club is not running correctly, you know, because it's been forever. I mean, since I have been a teacher, the conversation clubs are complicated, but maybe for me, maybe for me, Rainer, right? So this is the second opportunity to 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 start uh well, a good velocity, you know, so we can actually see the advances in our English. Um, you're following? Yep. yep. <clears throat> so, yes, 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 yeah. Perfect. So what I want to do is to eliminate myself from the equation, you know? I want to be out and I want you to speak more so... Thinking about this during the week, I just decided to to put you to talk, you know? No material, uh, nothing to print, no grammar structures, you know? Nothing like that. Nothing that what we were doing before. I think that we should go to a different direction. And uh, that direction is going to be talking. But you will be talking, right? And... Meanwhile, you talk, well, I take my notes and maybe I can correct some grammar, you know, grammar that maybe it's not perfect in your English right now. Uh, we can just make a pause, you know, and explain a little bit about the grammar and then maybe we can continue. And then if you if you're reading or if your pronunciation is not being so good, well, m maybe we can stop to correct the pronunciation and, you know, 
I don't know if you understand myself. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you understand me in the position that I that I am, uh, or in the position that I feel. You know, that I need to give you the responsibility. Are you following again? <laughs> so, so. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, um, because of that, we're gonna start with the first round okay we're gonna be doing rounds of speaking all right um talking about rounds well the first one's gonna be about something that you want to share you know something that you want to speak about this is like the the common free topic speech you know and then we're gonna go to a different activity that we have about reading and then giving opinions about some topics, right? But the first activity is gonna be uh, speaking about something that you want to speak. Everybody will do it. Who wants to start? No time, okay? No time. You develop the, the, the topic, improvise about the topic, and you guys can interrupt. You know, we can, let's make it natural. I don't know if you get me. You get me. <clears throat> yes? Yes. Well, let's do it. Who wants to start? Yeah, a ver cómo funciona esta clase, right? Si no, mañana la cambiamos el día siguiente, okay? A ver, estamos en a prueba y error. A ver cómo funcionamos en speaking. Teacher, but um, ¿cómo van a ser las clases? Solo los lunes. Es que a mí ya no me quedó claro qué iba a estar qué iba a pasar, pues. Pues es, es que es lo que la el dilema, ¿no? Es que no se juntan suficientes alumnos para llevar una clase fluida de conversación, ¿no? Y yo, por ejemplo, Valeria viene de otro grupo. Valeria ahora nos está, digamos que nos está ayudando a completar un número mayor, pues, ¿no? O nosotros le estamos ayudando a su grupo a completar un número mayor porque su grupo tampoco estaba eh, correcto, Valeria. Tampoco se estaban presentando, pues. So, la idea es de que continuemos con una, un día a la semana como práctica meramente, ¿no? Como tocar base con el inglés. Eh, practicar, hablar, habíamos, eh, lo que les comentaba, cambiar la dinámica, eh, porque se necesita gente, pues, y mira, ahorita estamos tres, Ale, se salió por alguna razón, eh, pero no completamos el número de personas. I don't know if you understand me. Yes, I, sí, yes, I understand. Mm. Pero ya ve que habíamos contemplado el curso anterior, o sea, nos va a durar más tiempo. Esas son mis preguntas, pues. Pues yo, como ya no pienso llevar un conteo más, se podría decir de esa forma, ya no pienso llevar un, ¿cómo lo, un programa, sino ir al, al, a la, ¿cómo lo puedo decir? Ir al improvisando la semana, ¿me explico? Hablando. Eh, siento que el material que estábamos usando no encajó, a lo mejor se les hacía mucho o era mucha repetición de gramática. Eh, entonces ese es mi dilema. Sí, mi dilema es si continuamos el grupo. Si vale la pena continuar el grupo, pues. Si quieren practicar una vez a la semana. Eh, porque no se está armando un grupo... De mínimo cuatro, pues cinco personas. Si ¿Sí me explico, que podamos tener interacción. Entonces, el programa que teníamos es lo que estoy haciendo a un lado para darle pie a este tipo de ejercicios, ¿no? De hablar. No sé qué piensen. Pues la verdad, a mí sí me gustaba lo de las, las semanas pasadas, pero sí entiendo que éramos muy pocos, pues, ¿no? O sea, ya estábamos reduciendo la cantidad de alumnos. Éramos muy pocos los que solíamos entrar. Por ejemplo, 
dos semanas atrás entré nada más yo y Yoli, creo, ¿no? Sí. Una vez entré nada más yo y luego otra vez entró Yoli y, y pues yo y Yoli, yo un poquito tarde, entonces no era la cantidad de lunes para poder dar la clase, pues para que después todos estén atrasando y tener que retomar lo que alguien no entendió y así. Sí entiendo, ¿no? Sí, fue Pero... muy complicado. Y muy frustrante, yo me frustré muchísimo. De hecho, dije, o sea, necesito una semana para pensarlo, pues por eso es que la semana pasada no di clase. A ver, va, va, ¿qué vamos a hacer, no? <coughs> Valerie, what do you think, Valerie? <laughs> I want to continue with one once per week. Like a ma like Monday class, touching base. Yes. I, I prefer Monday than Thursday. Excellent. Well, that's good. So we have we have one. <laughs> right? <laughs> Teacher, y yo tengo otra pregunta también más, porque a ver que te, estábamos pagando una cierta cantidad mensualmente, ¿cómo va a ser ahora la organización o, o, cómo, o cómo son los planes que vamos a utilizar para este, este nuevo dinámica? Sí, la, el precio va a reducir, eh, obviamente, ¿no? Porque vamos a ustedes, porque el grupo de Valeria sí era originalmente de un día a la semana. Eh, ah, el grupo okay. de ustedes eran tres días a la semana. Era más intensivo uh -huh. el curso. Entonces, estamos bajando a la velocidad de Valeria. Lo que uh -huh. va, los que decidan quedarse, porque, por ejemplo, Jolly creo que no va a continuar. Al parecer, Lupita ya no va a continuar. Los que decidan quedarse en este nuevo dinámica, uh -huh. ¿no? De los días lunes. Uh -huh. eh, se le va a hacer un, una, ¿cómo se le puede decir? Un reacomodo de sus pagos. Oh, okay, para perfecto. que y ese ya se los estaría enviando Andrea. Ah, ok, está bien, me parece perfecto. Porque hubo un pago ahora en octubre, por ejemplo, pues, ¿no? Y es el uh -huh. que no hemos, son las clases que no hemos dado. Ok, me, sí, sí, me, sí me estaba preguntando eso porque dije, pues no sé cómo va a ser la nueva organización, los días y todo eso. Pues la verdad, yo sí me quedaría con los lunes. O sea, right. yo, yo... Pues, hasta pues vamos siete... a... Vamos a darle a ver hasta cuándo a... yo mi primer objetivo es terminar de aquí a diciembre con los lunes okay. lunes 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 terminar en diciembre eh, irnos de vacaciones en diciembre de, de navidad regresar en enero y ahí ya poner una fecha otra fecha sabes cómo de decir ah pues ahora le vamos a dar de aquí a a las vacaciones de semana santa por ejemplo ¿no? uh -huh. que, que y que vayan siendo nuestro es decir como que sí es importante que nuestra mente cambie el tipo de curso que vamos a llevar. Que el curso pasado, es el curso que ya terminamos, por ejemplo, René, eh, hay que, ya a ese hay que darle ya carpetazo, pues. ¿Sabes cómo? Hacer el examen ya, a lo mejor no el TOEFL, pero hacer un examen para evaluarlos, darles el diploma, graduarlos, ¿no? Y ahora que ustedes sí. tomen esta nueva dinámica de de ya no tanto estudio el curso, sino de estar en contacto con el idioma eh, para poder seguir practicando de ahora en adelante, porque si no tienes el curso normal, eh, pues ahí es donde empieza a mermar, ¿no? El... Que yo creo que así lo ves, Valerie, ¿no? Como, un, como tocar base con el idioma, lo que pueda aprender, lo que pueda mejorar en pronunciación, supongo, ¿verdad? Sí, para mí en lo particular, ¿no? Lo que pasa es que uh -huh. en el trabajo, cuando es por escrito, no hay tema. O sea, todo mi trabajo es en español, pero hay unos proveedores uh -huh. que están en inglés. Entonces, okay. sí quiero dar el siguiente paso a ya poder tener contacto con ellos, como por videollamada o cosas así, porque no me atrevo, ¿no? O sea, por correo, pues sí, ya como quiera. Pero ya cuando es algo más de... Como que ponernos de acuerdo o ver algún tema así en videollamada, ahí sí como que ay, me bloqueo y ya me da pena y no hablo. ¿no? Ok, ok, ok. Sí, pues yo creo que el, el, el objetivo hay que cambiarlo ahora, ¿no? De las herramientas que ya obtuve, esas son las que tengo que poner en práctica ahora en adelante, ¿no? Que son las conversaciones. Yo me inventé esta forma de darles la clase, como darles un tema, por ejemplo, ¿no? un tema que esté pasando en este momento, darles una introducción del tema para que 
con mucho texto para que ustedes lean, porque ahí es donde vamos a mejorar la pronunciación, la lectura, y es algo que no hemos estado haciendo, pues, ¿no? O algo que hemos estado en deficiencia. Si bien tenemos la gramática bien y demás, nos está haciendo falta esto, la cuestión de la pronunciación, que a fin de cuentas nos da seguridad para hablar, pues, ¿no? O nos quita seguridad, y ahí es donde entran esas cosas de, no, no quiero, por ejemplo, una videollamada, ¿no? Entonces, es una idea. Como les decía, no sé si vaya a funcionar, pero quiero que hagamos tres tipos de ejercicio. El ejercicio número uno o los ejercicios del tipo número uno es que sean eh, solo speech. O sea, eh, que hablemos aproximadamente unos dos minutos de algo que ustedes quieran hablar, ¿no? Como proponer el tema en la conversación que van a estar, ¿no? Decir, ah, yo quiero, el día de hoy yo quiero hablar de, de esto que me pasó, por ejemplo, o el, el día de hoy quiero hablar de lo que voy a hacer mañana, el día de hoy quiero, I don't know, el tema que use, aquí sea libre, ¿no? Otro tipo de ejercicio es de que hagan conversaciones de dos, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, René con Valeria, Valeria con Carlos, Carlos con René. ¿De qué tema? Pues del tema que ustedes empiecen a hablar, si me explico, en la conversación. A lo mejor que empiecen a conocerse entre ustedes y que empiecen a sacar tema de ahí, porque también hay que desarrollar la habilidad esa, ¿no? La, la, la habilidad de por dónde me meto en la conversación para poder sacar conversación de eso. ¿Sí me explico? ¿De qué se está tratando el tema y cómo puedo contribuir al tema? A lo mejor eso pasa mucho en las reuniones de trabajo en inglés, que dices tú, pues no necesito hablar porque todo se está diciendo ahí, pero ¿cómo me meto a la conversación para hacerme ver? ¿No? Esa es la habilidad esa. ¿Cómo, cómo, eh, cómo desarrollamos esa habilidad de, de, de hacernos notar en una conversación? ¿no? Porque es muy fácil, les decía la vez pasada, las clases que tuvimos anteriormente, que es muy fácil ser guiados en una conversación, que te estén preguntando, eso es muy fácil, y tú respondiendo, ¿no? Porque ya tenemos esa habilidad, pero la otra, la otra parte, el guiar la conversación, ¿no? Y la otra, pues, eh, a, a hacer conversaciones grupales. Eso es lo que a mí me interesaría. Dentro de este speech, la lectura, reading. I'm sorry, dentro de las conversaciones estas. O en este caso de las conversaciones grupales serían estos temas que yo les estoy promoviendo, ¿no? ¿Cómo la ven? ¿Le damos? Bien. Hay que darle. Hay que darle. All right. A ver so, qué tal. La... <risa> Carlos, yes. Mínimo, tenemos responsabilidad de hacerlo hoy. Si no yes. funciona, pues ya. <ríe> Hagamos no, otra pues, cosa. Nos retiramos. <ríe> nos retiramos, right, Carlos? All right. So, activity number one will be to talk about something that you want to talk, okay? Which is your solo speech. Your okay, solo. I, I'm first teacher. I'm talking about for the last week. Talking about the last week. All right. So if we have, guys, Valerie, Carlos, if you have questions, you can interrupt. Okay? Yeah, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's make it natural. All right. Perfect. Hi, guys. Well, Valerie, you didn't, you doesn't meet. But I, I am Rene. I am 26 years old. I am Suakirande. I am from Suakirande. I am geologist. Um, and the last week I was in Hermosillo because I had a congress in the Expo Forum. Uh, I had a week very tired and very full for the activities. Um, the first days was a uh, Tuesday, I have a, um, it's a pre-congreso. Uh -huh. um, I don't remember. 
y is a course about the EOCGS is a deposit minerals um the the plática curso I don't know the course the course the talk the talk was very interesting uh, the doctor it is a woman she is a Irene from Chile is very very smart person um uh from 9 to 6 p.m. during the congress during the congress was during the congress um the, the the next day i was in the expo forum and took up some um talks the talk excellent yeah the talk um for different people so for the of uh, the different uh place chile peru mexico uh, the talks in spanish and english uh the ceo the ceo of the um, talk band ventures um the name of the man is uh, Brody Suterman. Uh, he talked about the Pillar Project in Sakirande. Um, in the next afternoon, we went to the restaurant to eat. And um, in the northern activities, uh, in the other days, but I was very tired and an emotion because I practice my English <laughs> with other people and I meet met another people's. I I'm finished. Do you have uh, questions? <laughs> Yeah, Valerie Carlos. Valerie Carlos. Uh, nice to meet you, Rene. Carlos, what's happening? Right. Uh, good. Uh, nice. I, I don't have, I don't have uh, questions. Okay. <laughs> All right, Rene, let's go with your speech. Um, Very good on the hat, okay? You are you you are using the simple past finally, you know, very good on that one. Yes. You have this is contradictory. That's where I use where, where, right? Because mm -hmm. it's plural. I need more practice was where with the subjects. Hey, that's that's the one, right? That's one of the opportunity mm -hmm. areas. Vocabulary, you know, la charla, la plática, the talk, the talk. you know? Okay. Um Took in simple past, took some talks. Aquí ya me lo usaste, very good, all right? Simple past went. In the other days, maybe this one we can change it. Do you have any ideas, guys? Other options? On, on the other, no? I don't well, know. Perfect, it can be during. During will be better. During the day, during the, during the other days, okay, perfect. Okay. If you don't use during, you can use on, all right? But not in. Okay, oh, okay, perfect, yes. All right. And then you say tired and emotion. Tired is an adjective. And this one, it's a noun. You need to be, um, you need to do exactly like adjective, adjective. Noun, noun. Verb, verb. You know what I mean? Yes. What is the what is the adjective for a person? Una persona que tiene emoción, ¿cuál es el adjetivo? Happier. Emotional. Em, emotional, that will be. Emotional, okay. Emotional, emotional. So you make it an adjective now, and then you're doing it congruent, okay? Tired mm -hmm. and emotional. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So who's next? Carlos or 
Valeria. Miss Valeria. <laughs> Thank you, Carlos. I know, Carlos is a You can do it, right? Carlos. It's a gentleman. <clears throat> no, no, All right, no. Valeria. Valeria. Oh, open. Please, ready. Mm -hmm. Well, nice to meet you guys. My name is Valeria Rayas. Uh, I'm studied in eight, ATH. I am industrial engineering. Now I am living in Mexico City, working in Erdes. Um, I like to live here, but also I love Hermosillo Sonora. <laughs> so it's, um, I don't know, here is good because of the job and the weather, for example. Now we are like 20 grades De or I don't know. De degrees. Degrees, degrees, sorry. 20 degrees and almost every day is raining, but the city is prepared for that. So it is not a big deal. And I like to go to Hermosillo and eat many things, <laughs> many type of foods, of food. Mm, like dogos, percherones, carne con chile, and many, many things. And, and, many, and many other things. Many other things. Thank you. <laughs> and visit my family, my friends, go to some bars, and go to the beach, San Carlos or Kino. And I think that's all. Perfect. Questions for Valerie, guys? Uh, no, it's a question, but I like it, Mexico City, because for the weather, it's very cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it, the, the degrees in the day. No, it is a, a hot weather, it's a cold weather. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yes, never is hot. Even when... Yeah. Mm, the people here say that it's hot, it's not hot because it's 30 degrees. Yeah, it's like normal for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, Carlos, do you have any comments? No, no, no. no comments. Let, let's work on the pronunciation of this one. Um, Rene, you have a yeah. uh -huh, you have a problem, a little problem with there. Okay. We're gonna use this one as a D, actually. And what it's way like that. Weather. Weather. Uh-huh. Remember that this D over here, this one over here, this D, it's actually with TH, right? Like weather. 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 You know? Weather. Weather. The weather, the weather. the weather. All right. All right, Valerie. Um, I listened. I don't know if that was correct, but maybe you say I am studied in ITH. Yes, without a um. without a which one? Yes, I say that, but I. I'm... How can you correct it? I studied. I studied, right? Good. How would you All say right. me di cuenta? I noticed. I noticed. You can say that. I noticed. Or you can say I found out. Found out. Okay. I found, I found out. out. I discovered, you know? All right. And then very good connection on now and ING. Now living, working, all right? Placing yourself in ING. Very good use of also, excellent on this one, all right? Like adding information, right? Uh, adding information, well, the vocabulary degrees, I don't know if it's new for you or you forgot. 
I forgot. You forgot. And then very good use of is prepare, which is the passive voice, which is a complicated. It's a very complicated conjugation tense and you got it, okay? Um, I don't remember what sentence you use. Is pre oh, the city, the Mexico city is prepared, you know? Yes. For the rain. All right. Questions, Valerie? Mm, no, thank you, teacher. No problem. Coming with Carlos. Are you going to do it, Carlos? Boys. Are you going to speak? Uh, sí, ya. No, listo. All right, go for it. Um, I am going to tell about the visit. Uh, the one, one who is ru running for the vice president. Perfecto. Sí, no corre para vice presidente. Uh -huh. eh. is, is running for vice president, yeah. Running for vice president uh, of the Republican. Republicano, Partido Republicano. Republican. You can say Republican. Republican yeah. Party. 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 Uh -huh. Republican Party. Como el Partido Republicano. Uh, he visited our, our restaurant. Nice. Delicious Mexican grid last week. Nice, man. Why? Uh, only for when uh, meeting, meeting the people. The people. The, the, the Latin people? Yes. No, uh, no American, Latin, the, everything. Oh. Everything people. But in the Mexican restaurant, that's interesting. Yeah, the Mexican restaurant. Yeah, my delicious Mexican. Right? Mm -hmm. Uh, I I think I I did I didn't ah what is it? What is the idea? No, uh, no pensé. Ah, yeah, I I, I didn't didn't think. I didn't. I didn't. Think. I there didn't think. Many protocols, muchos protocolos. Ah, uh, oh, okay. So much security. Yeah, security. Security. Yeah. Mm, I go to speak English with him. I go or oh, in past, what is it? Oh, hablé. I. I. We, Talk. I talk. Pero, uh, I talked. I talk. I talk. In English. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was a uh, a nervous, nervous. Yeah. Because he yes. he crit, critica, ¿cómo se critica mucho? Critica. Um, cr criti. Sizes, criticizes. Sizes of the those who don't not speak English in this country. Oh, you know what is the Republican? The yeah. party, party, the Donald Trump. Yeah, usually the the Republicans are a little bit more so, yeah more special, correct? More special. Uh, no, everything, everything good. Everything good. And what, what did you talk to him? What topics did you uh, talk to him? Only, hi, hi, how are you? Uh, uh come on. Only me preguntó, solamente me preguntó. Eso acá, a ver, pues, a ver, good, good, thank you. How are you? Like basic, basic information? 
basic information? Yeah, that's basic information. All right. Very good, Carlos. You're talking, all right? Good option in is running for presidency, you know? Yeah, Está running. corriendo para la presidencia, or in this case, for a public, you know, a public uh, position. Si, vice presidente, no? O sea, si el Donald Trump le pasa algo, el, sería el presidente, si llega a ganar. Oh. Wow, man. Okay. Pero Any... yo era tanto protocolo y, y tanta seguridad. Hasta a mí me esculcaron y a todos, a todos los, los trabajadores. De hecho, pues nosotros It's... somos. ¿Cómo se dice? No somos, somos imparciales, pues no podemos negar el servicio a nadie, pues. O sea, si hubiera sido del otro partido también igual, ¿no? Que mucha gente nos dice, no, no, no estamos apoyando a nadie porque no, no subimos ni una foto con él, ni, ni, el, ni en la página, ni nada, nomás ellos llegaron y el, hicieron un, una reservación para un meeting, para cierta persona que los apoya para ganar votos, ¿no? Cerca de las elecciones, ¿no? Como Ay. está muy cerrada la, la, la contienda, están haciendo así, pues, muchos movimientos hasta... Y como nosotros somos populares aquí en el sur de Tucson, somos uno de los restaurantes más populares con los latinos, quieren ganar votos latinos, pues, porque eso marca la diferencia aquí, ¿no?, en, el, en Arizona. Si ganan Pero Arizona, Carlos, claro que los puede Carlos, uh, the, people that, the people that went to the meeting was mostly Latins? Uh, no, more Americans. More Americans. Entonces, Excellent. Un latte. Very good, Carlos. Estás hablando, mister. My gosh. I'm very proud of you. All okay. right. So, <clears throat> um, we go with the topic number one, so we can talk about it. All right. Let's get with the introduction. Valerie, can you read? Are you available to read? Yes, Yes, all right. Um, pay attention to new vocabulary, okay? So we can stop and analyze the vocabulary, all right? Any words that you don't know how to pronounce? Tell me, teacher, what's the pronunciation of these, okay? So it's open, Valerie. Ready? Okay. Go for it. But after years of grazing over those rates, the U.S. saw... A decline in 1924, marking the first decrease since 2018. The reduction is attributed to improved public health initiatives, expanded access to addiction treatment, and the broader availability you got it of narcan naloxone i don't know what's that mm -hmm. uh, an emergency drug that reverses opioid overdoses several states and localities have invested in overdose prevention programs including distributing narcan to at risk communities and establishing safe injection sites. Additionally, there's been a shift from punitive approaches to addiction to viewing it as a public health issue, supporting recovery through mental health resources and re rehab, how do you say? Rehabilitation rehabilitation instead of incarceration incarceration you know like put it in in prison you know ah, okay all right continue this is the last one all right valerie continue this is your topic continue valerie some, some critics argue that while these measures are promising More needs to be done to address the root cause, causes of addiction, including socioeconomic challenges, mental yes. health issues, and the easy availability of illicit substances. 
others not, that their response should be expanded globally, especially as drug use and overdose rates rise in other countries. Students might consider how public health, so socioeconomic support, and community education can contribute to lasting solutions. Discussion could focus on the role of government versus community initiatives, the importance of compassion in addiction treatment, and how other countries might learn from the U.S. Ex experience. Excellent, Valerie. Good velocity, all right. So let's analyze a little bit the topic, okay? Before we go into the speaking, what is this word over here? Rising, rise, or alcanzar. racing. Hmm? Como alcanzar. Alcanzar. It's more like going up. Crecer. Uh-huh. So it will have to be like getting bigger. You know, rising. Can you say the price of milk is rising? Every month. Make sense? And the gasoline. And the gasoline too. So be careful with this one, okay? Because this one is racing. Racing. Okay. Una carrera, no? Racing. And this one is rising. Going up. Okay. All right. So, okay. Everything good. Good over here. Um. This one maybe? Attributed, 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 attributed. Okay, and this one, Valerie, we're gonna change this. You, we're gonna change it for a more specific a uh, sound. So not public, but public, public, pa, ah, public. Yeah. You know. Right, same situation over here. Uh, oh, this one over here, guys. Be careful with this because usually we sound like ch and we say challenge, challenges, challenges, you know. Can they say challenges because Hermosillense? <laughs> because of me, it can be because of the Hermosillense sound, right? Totally, it is. Um, but. Ahora que ya tenemos un inglés mejor, ¿no? Ya podemos exigirnos más en la pronunciación de la y, 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 right? You, usually, for example, how do you say this one? ¿Cómo dicen esto? Page. Page, you know? Page. Y suena como sh. Suena como sh. Y tenemos que cambiar ya a page. G, G. Page. 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 So this one is not going to be challenges, challenges. It's going to be challenges. 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 Like why? Like challenges. Yeah, like why? You can say it like why? Challenges, right? It's, a, it's, a, it's, actually, it's actually the sound, right? Challenges. Like, for example, this one. You say orange? Oh, mm -hmm. orange, orange, orange. Right? Orange, orange. Entonces, cambiar el sonido este, ese sería la, el challenge, right? Not for cha, but for g. Mm -hmm. All right? Challenges. Y, y luego dicen copy page, ¿no? Copy yes. page. So copy page, G, 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 page. Copy page. Mm -hmm. page. Okay. Only that one, public, you got it. Public. And put emphasis on this one, Valerie. Country. Contribute. Contribute. 
contribute. Contribute. Okay. So, what are we talking about in this in this topic? It's talking about overdose rates decline. Um, any ideas? What did you understand? The actions that the government are using is using to reduce the problem of overdose. Exactly. Good. What are they doing? Do you know someone that has done something like this? Uh, is there a problem in Mexico? Anything, okay? Acuérdense, hay que hacernos notar. ¿Qué vamos a decir de algo así en una conversación? Right? Whatever you want. Anything. It's talking about overdose. I'm going to start with I'm going to start with you Valerie because you read, okay? So try to develop something about the topic. Make a connection whatever you want. Well, I can I can see some ideas here that we can use in also in Mexico. Uh, because we also have this problem in all the cities, mainly in yes. big cities. Mm -hmm. And we don't have a specific uh, program. Exactly. But the... Um, Sometimes in schools, elementary schools mainly, yeah, have uh, programs to the students to prevent the this society issue or this problem. Excellent, yeah, society issue. You got it. All right. Carlos, what do you think about the overdosing? Do you have an opinion? What's going on in the community that you live? So, I don't, I think, um, this, uh, I don't know, I do <laughs> It's okay. Think about the topic. Rene, what can you say about the topic? Teacher overdose. Overdose is the, is the word? Overdose, In exactly. Spanish, what is overdose? What's overdose, Valerie? Sobredosis. Sobredosis of drugs, right, usually. Ah, okay, for drugs, okay. So what is saying? Overdose is, is a problem. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, I continue? Yeah. Yes, please. Sorry. Is a problem very big, biggest in general in Mexico. Um, but the government didn't doesn't have the control for the activities of the people for the soul the 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 drugs and the other substances um okay. in general in my town to is no control <laughs> the activity Mm -hmm. 
Anybody else? Carlos, something else, Valerie? <clears throat> It's more, it's more um, common the people smoke the marijuana in, in public place. It's very, very common yeah. now in okay. all the all right. state of, in general. Very good. All right. Because I, so I, 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 I see the people when I do the, the activity when they do the activity, right? ¿En qué lugares visitas, René? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, right? Carlos, do you have an opinion or we changed the topic already? Uh, I don't have an opinion on this topic. All right. <laughs> so Why, Valerie, Carlos? I don't know, Carlos. I think you, you, you will do... Uh, one will you you will talk about this topic because it's very important the society um I don't know normally no. normally we have a, a family with this problem probably little problems or little problems or big problems but but is Dia con dia, this this activity. It's day, day by day, day by day. Day by day, the 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 um, noticias. I don't remember the 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 news. The, in the news, in the radio, in the uh, social media, social media, you. Okay. Always hear and learn or talk about this problem in the schools too. What do you, uh, what do you think about what preposition you, you you do you use for the news? Like you listen to in the news, you listen to you in listen the radio. What is the preposition for? News the it's radio. Separate the problem on the news on the radio. It's on yeah. on the news on the radio. Okay. So the news or the another one? Yeah. Another another one where is on oh, maybe on the on the TV. No, yeah, so but the preposition. Another one? No? No, I don't think so. Only only on? Mm-hmm. On. For those specific, I have, a, uh, I have a, this problem because it's more common in 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 in. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. But it's okay. that one, right? You got it. Okay. So Valerie, uh, pronunciation on this one only. Try to use this one like a prevent. Like an e. Pre prevent. Prevent. Right. Uh, Rene, good on dozen. Okay. Only this one. La idea era gente que vende la sustancia, oh. right? What will be people who que vende? It, it's present. Sell. People who who sell, right? Yeah. Que vende. Because if you mm -hmm. if you go if you give me soul, it's gente que, que vendió, all right? Uh -huh. And then you got an expression here. Two is no, two is not, two is not control. Hay una, hay una, hay un adverbio que Valeria usa bastante. Está bien, right? Que incluye el two is. What is correct? Two is no control. Two is not control, ¿quieres decir tampoco está en control? Como no está controlado, pues. Okay. Como la... But why this two? What is the idea? Two is not control. Uh, for the drugs. Mm -hmm. So it will have to be 
is isn't in control. And then we need a an adverb in here. Isn't in control it. Para decir tampoco, ¿no? Isn't in control to. I don't know. ¿Cuál es el opuesto de to? Porque el to es positivo, right? Um, I don't remember, teacher. You don't remember? Valerie, no. do you remember? Is the opposite, is the negative of two, because two is like, I am two. Are you hungry? I am not. Oh, I am two. Are you hungry? Yes, I am two, right? And then I am not, I am not hungry. Is it okay. two? I am not, no. And then that word, tampoco. Really, I don't remember. No, Valerie, either, Carlos? No. no. How do you either. say adiv huh? adivinar? Adivinar? How do you say <laughs> Get, Guess, no. guessing. Adivinanza. Yeah, it's a guessing, right? So it will have to be either, right? So, el negativo de two, either. All right. So society, day by day, news. Okay. All right. Let's see. Rene, you're going to read. Okay. Okay. Perfect. But family works on the rice. On the race or on the rice, guys? On the race. On the, on the race. Race like this, race. No, race. What is it? This. See here, With... but rice doesn't sound like rice. The like like no? rice like this. <laughs> yes, and that's what it is, right? Rice, 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 rice. Is the, the same connotation? Uh huh. Okay. Aumentar, right? Right. Okay, rice, rice. Okay, pet friendly word. Ready, Miss Rene? Okay. Yes. An increasing number of the companies, special dish and credit firms, are implementing pet friendly policies to attract and retain employees. Employees, Sears show that having pets at work can reduce stress, increase moral, and even boost productivity. Productivity. Studies from organizations like the America Pet Production Association report that a following pets in the workplace contributors to employed well behind and job satisfaction leading to lower turnover rates. Companies such as Amazon, Google, and many smaller startups have adopted pet-friendly policies allowing employees to bring dogs to the office and providing desired Designed, designed pit areas. Continue. Mm. I'm waiting. Okay. While employees enjoy having pits, pets around pet friendly workplace, pause. Giants, especially with allergies or toes uncomfortable around animals. Managing a clean, safe, and productive environment in essential and some workplace provider and the designated 
fit sound to balance different employee needs. Companies without pet friendly police are exploring other ways to support pet owning employees such as offering pet insurance or flexible work from home days. This trend raises questions about balancing inclusive job satisfaction and practical challenges in the modern in the modern workplace. A student can discuss the potential benefits of shoes polish policy, the importance of workplace flexibility, and how they will feel about working in a pet friendly environment. All right, René. Lo sufres, ¿no? La lectura, René. La sufres, ¿verdad? Yes. And this yeah. moment more, more, <laughs> porque okay. tenía muchísimo sin practicarlo. All right. Y son muchas palabras que normalmente no las utilizo mm -hmm. y yeah. sí le sufrí demasiado. I can say, lo único que quería hacer era terminar, right? <laughs> sí. yeah. All right. So let's go. Uh, pronunciation. This one's going to be tech, you know, like technology, tech, tech like technology, tech. especially okay. tech. Okay. Uh, we have this word, which is policies. Policies. Tech. Policies. What is a policy? Not a police, right? Policies. Implementing, uh -huh. or in Spanish, políticas, right? Mm -hmm. Políticas de la empresa, policies, policies. right? Policies. Police. Police. Um, policies. How about this one? Employees. Employees. So we're talking about employees as the workers. Los trabajadores. Sí. ¿Y Entonces, los que dan trabajo? Employment. I don't know. It's similar. No, guys. It is similar, but is with our employers. 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 So, they give job. Okay, employers is keep a job and employ... Employees. Employees, employees. Are the workers, right? Employees. All right. Pronunciation for this? Allowing. 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 Permitting, right? Allow. Allowing. Contributes, como Contributes. Valerie... Contributes. Contributes. All right. A pronunciation for this one. Think about an A. Uh. Such. Okay. Such. 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 Providing. Providing. Designing. Design. Net. I guess. Design. Providing. Set. Set. Design it, design it actually. Design, design it. it. Okay. All right. Uh, this one, guys, remember this one? Challenges. Challenges. Just challenges. Challenges. Maintaining. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Okay. Olvídense de la R, okay, aquí. Eh, olvídense de la O. En realidad, olvídense de la O R. Uncomfortable. 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 Yeah. Environment. Environment. You got it. Police. Modern. Challenge. Policies. 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 Right. Challenges. Challenges. Such. Such. 
And this one, we're going to change it like an R. Modern. 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 It's like an A. Modern. Modern. Or modern. Okay. okay. All right. So what's your opinion about this? No sé si pusiste atención por tu... Por tu... No, I... I, I oh, you got I, it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> you got it. All right. So go for it. What is your opinion? Well, um, mm, estoy a favor. No, I don't know where, where is he? Help, help Rene, guys. Uh, a good idea. It's a good idea. Okay. Okay, but... I accepted the policies of the different places when pet friendly, but the dueños of the pet. Oh, no. uh, the, the owners, uh huh. The owners, no estaba segura y le iba a decir. <laughs> the, owners, the owners uh should be very all of them to very um, como cuidadosos guys ay perdí todas las palabras good the good the good then is a uh, uh, they should be they should, very they should be very careful uh -huh. yeah to be very careful in the when do the showers for the pets and vaccines okay and, showers vaccines all right yeah yeah showers vaccine idea. and hairs on the garras <laughs> mm -hmm. it is very Cl important <laughs> Class, garras. Class. It's very important, but I think the the companies or restaurants or place uh, should be, you know, should uh, have a two place for the different peoples because some people have allergies for the cats or pets. It is very important. All right, your idea. I understand it. Only this one. Have a two place. This is contradictory. Have a two. Have two place. Make a plural. Have two place. Two place. Places. In plural. Two places. places. The restaurants. Have two, uh -huh. Have two places for the pet friendly and not pet friendly for people who have allergies okay pronunciation it's allergies allergies allergies, allergies. Got it. valid um, you got it yes i got it uh well when i read the 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 the, the reading <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's amazing because usually usually we pay attention to the pronunciation and we don't pay attention to what we are reading. Yeah, you know? I think. So, mm -hmm, yeah. Got it. Yes, I got hey, it. Valerie, what's your opinion? Well, I am agree that some places are pet friendly, but not everywhere. I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Again, <laughs> I agree about that, but not everywhere. Exactly. Uh, and I don't know, the dogs or cats are pets, so it's not, well, I am not, I, I don't agree with some Things like use carriolas. I don't know how do you say. Uh, strollers. 
Strollers. Carriolas. Strollers. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that, oh. that topic about the pets is very... Um, how do you say? No, conflictivo. Con... Con... I was gonna say controversial, but no. Yes, it's very, different. Yeah, it's, it's controversial. Controversial oh. because some people loves their pets. Yeah. And I is is my opinion. Are yes. extremely. They treat them like humans. Yes. I agree that, that they, they care the pets. All of things like. Uh, all the the topics like a good food, uh, maybe they can be in the house, not not outside, and take a shower in a special places or something like that. But they are not humans. That's my opinion. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I think you found out, you know, that it's, um, we don't combine, right? The verb to be with agree. I think you got it because you used it correctly in the negative, right? I don't agree. I I agree. I don't agree. Mm -hmm. um, maybe new, new vocabulary word, stroller, right? Carriola, strollers. Here, Valerie, we have a, we have a problem. Because you say some people loves, what is the not matching situation? Love the without S. And why? That is correct. But why? Mm, because it's like a singular. Because it's no, si what no, is because singular? it's a singular be because Rene, yeah, yeah, because, because no is she ni es, ni es, uh, the subject is they and the subject is, is they no, that is no tiene que tener es. because the s is only for he for she and for it right okay. and she it exactly mm -hmm. so <laughs> Te voy a decir algo, Valeria. Yo siempre digo eso. Siempre, todavía después de 20, 30 años hablando inglés, yo siempre digo people is. ¿Ok? <laughs> But it's people are because people is plural, right? Ok, ok. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. so, But the word but, is... <laughs> oh, I don't... So it's very complicated for me too. So I understand your conflict because... Because yes. we don't have a nest, we don't have a nest in here, right? <laughs> And we consider it our <laughs> brain. That is correct. And then this is another problem in here, talking about uh being incongruent because a represents how many? One. One. And food is not countable. Mm. Ok. Mm. Entonces, ¿cómo sería tu oración, tu idea? Como de darle comida, you know? So it would have to be, people, I agree, tell me. People bring good, good food. Uh -huh. I agree that people, I agree that people, What is the verb? Bring or give. Or... Give, all right. With S or no S? Look. No, no, teacher, no S. <laughs> yes. I agree that people give, exactly. And then you say good food. Okay. Be because it's uncountable, so no ah. All right, perfect. Okay, thank you. Car. No problem. Carlos, opinion to finish the class. Ya para terminar, ah, ok. Entonces, yes, sí. All right. Uh, 
I think I think it is a good I idea in those those times. Uh -huh. The stress the stress the stress is a more common condition in the people and those those days. Actually it will have to be these days. These days. Because if you say those days, ¿qué está diciendo if you say those days, guys? Sí, en algunos días. En estos días, these days. Sí. Estos días. Y eso sería esos días. Uh, the good use of the day at seeking, seeking areas for the Lo bueno es que asi asignaron áreas, no asignan áreas. ¿Cómo se dice? Okay. De, Assign. Asign áreas for the... Assigning. For Assign. the... Go, go, go. For the problem, the people who have, have aller allergies. Allergies. ¿Cómo es? Yes. Ya no, Aller aller allergies. 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 Or other problems with pets. Yes. Uh, but it's a uh, well organized. Oh, uh, es una buena idea, pero bien organizada, ¿no? Sería buena idea. Okay, so bien organizada, it would have to be well, well organized, organized, organized. Mm -hmm. So. Well, it's very important the pets. Uh, the show have uh, vaccines. Or, yes. Or the comment for Valerie is very important. Uh, the pets have a uh, good mm, routines for shower vaccines and live inside are the yeah. other things <laughs> yeah 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 do you have pets yes i have three pets three dogs and one cat and one one dog live inside two dogs live outside and the cat mm -hmm. live outside is um Chiquita live inside in my house he is very cleaning and mm -hmm. and careful with the hygiene. Hygiene? I don't know. Uh, hygiene. 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 Uh -huh. Very good. Hygiene. Hygiene. Pues, uh, pues uh, sacamos la clase. <laughs> I like the class, yes. teacher. <laughs> what is, sure, we did it. We did it. Oh my God. It's like, oh, <laughs> let's finish the class. Eh, les, les movió el hamster poquito, el, el no tener un tema preparado. Sí, teacher. A mí se me hizo muy bien, pero ahorita somos poquitos. Ya cuando seamos más, siento que ahí va a ser lo diferente. Aquí podemos medio debatir Valeria, Carlos y yo entre tú y yo aquí allá presentarnos, estuvo muy bueno porque dijiste, ah, bueno yo a mí me hizo pensar, a ver, ¿cuánto más te falta? ¿cuánto más tienes que practicar? ¿o qué es lo que te está haciendo como un déficit en tu inglés? para mí estuvo muy bueno, es que mientras todo sea speaking va a ser bueno, o sea, sí se me hizo bien cierto lo que dice René de que ¿cuánto te falta? te das cuenta, ¿no? o sea, cuando uh -huh. está uno lo como lo luego te toca pues ni chance de formar idea como somos uh -huh. poquitos okay. sí okay. pues eso también es importante cuántas personas vamos a estar en el grupo porque por ejemplo a veces también si es lectura te vas a enfadar que uno esté leyendo y que el otro okay. no o que alguien esté ese es el reto y ese es el gran reto yo creo que por eso no funcionan los conversations porque no somos pacientes pues no de de que le toca a la otra persona hablar, ¿no? Y mínimo se va a chutar dos, tres minutos hablando. Pero si está Ese, mejor. Yo creo que. Neta. Se extraña, se extraña, se extraña. Si está mejor que estén sí. todos, pues. Se extraña el, 
la Lupita, y Oli, el Javier, el... Sí, o sea, y es también como... pues... Se extrañan, Pero sí. se extrañan, ¿verdad? El debate entre todos. No, no quería Pero hablarle sí. a uno de ellos. Javier, Pues Javier. a ver cómo nos va, a ver cómo no, a ver quién más se une. Esta semana vamos a, voy a ver a ver quién más Perfecto, va, Carlos. a, va a seguir y quién Perfecto, no. Carlos. Pues sí, Carlos, pero si no quieren ni modo que los obligue. Obligación, díganle, es obligación. <ríe> eh, Valerie, so, so es lo que buscas más o menos, practicar, que te corrijan. Sí, 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 sí. La, pronun la pronunciación sobre todo. <ríe> De Valeria hecho, habla okay. también. Chami, chami, vale. Sí, yo sé que la H, por ejemplo, la tengo muy marcada y también en el inglés. O sea, aparte del español, en el inglés yo sé que la uso mucho. Entonces también, Okay, eso voy me a ir sirve. corrigiendo eso. Pues vámonos eh, poniéndonos en la mente eso, ¿no? De, de que la dinámica cambió y que vamos a, como dice René, cualquier práctica de conversation es lo que nos va a ayudar al siguiente nivel, ¿o qué? porque ya el querer aprender otros tiempos gramaticales y demás, su cerebro ya lo ve como aburrido y le pierden interés. Y el perder interés ya no entra en la clase y se hace una bolita de nieve donde vamos cargando todos ahí el problema. Entonces, vamos a ir clase por clase. La clase que viene, a ver, a ver qué inventamos. Vale. Sí. Ya nos miraríamos hasta el lunes. Hasta el sí, lunes. Vas... Ajá. Ok. Es correcto. No para el lunes, sí. okay. Tenemos right. tiempo para practicar todo lo que aquí nos falló. Sí, ah, cierto. Ah, buena idea. Buena idea. La otra es, ¿le sigo subiendo las clases o ya no las subo? Sí, sí, para... Sí, profe, yo digo que la sí, subo. que nos las suba para ver qué podemos ¿Qué? en la semana mejorar un poco en esta hora, pues la vamos a tener libre. La okay. podemos checar, pronunciar otra vez, a lo mejor ponerle atención a algo que no le pusimos atención, ya sea la lectura o lo que alguno de nuestros compañeros dijo y así. Sí, yo el primer tema no le puse atención porque me marcaron por teléfono, por eso no supe que así. Okay. Sí. Y de igual forma les voy a enviar ahí los textos para que los vuelvan a releer. Sale. Okay. Sale, teacher. Okay. Nos vemos Thank el lunes, you the pues. next Monday. Bye bye. Uh, bye, Valerie. Bye. Espera bye, todo. Carlos. Venga. Aunque sea un día. Bye, René. Yes, I know. Que al final, del, al final del, del año le vamos a dar un premio. <risa> <risa> bye, guys. Nos vemos.